my name is Jelly, and welcome to my channel. This is my first real video, so thank you for tuning in. Today, I have a story about my first job and the chaos that it made my life for a few months. So, I got my first job after graduating high school in about June of last year, after I went on a little vacation with my family. And I stayed on until about October when I quit. I won't say exactly which chain this was, but it was a large burger chain, specifically a franchise of the chain. It started after my family became regulars at this particular location. And my mom got to know the manager, Jay. Jay was kind of a nice guy and my mom got to know him. He even eventually knew her by name, which she hated. It was very funny to me. Eventually, I got to meet him and she saw him showing his employee how to do something properly. She pointed out that his teaching style for this and the way that he was gentle with his employees when correcting an issue would be perfect for me as I am autistic and I definitely don't take harsh criticism very well. So I apply and I get hired for the job. The manager, Jay, does start me training and everything is great, aside from the fact that he kind of tells me to just go watch people and figure it out. Luckily, I had some great coworkers and a great other manager who, hi Mira, love you. She is, to this day, my best friend, and I did meet her at this job, so there is a positive that came of it. For the first few months, everything is pretty much great. The environment can be a little strange to me, as I'm not used to working in a workplace, ever. Like I said, it was my first job. I didn't start working until after I was in high school, because I also do not have a license, and scheduling with school would have been very difficult. Not only on me, but my family and the people who would have had to drive me. So I waited till I'm 18. And so i get my job it's going pretty great i start training and thanks to mira and some of my other co-workers things go really well i pick up i get comfortable with the job and i settle in i usually worked on making the burgers uh, rarely after the first few months i would work on front register sometimes i would do fries frequently and all the time i got relegated to nothing but cleaning jay would often hand me a bucket of sanitizer and a cloth and tell me to just go find something to clean. Never specific directives on what he wanted me to clean. No, go find something and clean it. That's how I'd end up wandering around the store with a bucket of sanitizer for hours, finding and scrubbing random patches on the underside of tables or behind things because this place was never deeply cleaned because no one would schedule anyone to really come properly clean it. Though my friend did offer several times to just work a shift, do nothing but clean the place, and that was it. But no, they didn't do that. In this time, I meet the GM. We'll call her T. T was an older lady, and at first she came off very sweet, and I think in a lot of ways she actually very much was. She, she had that kind of old lady kindness to her, you know, even though she wasn't very old maybe middle-aged. However, it didn't take me too long to realize that she wasn't always the most stable in how she treated her employees, including the other management, by the way. She really liked to gossip, and she'd flip-flop her rules and standards all the time. She also feuded with Jay frequently, him being her um, assistant gen general manager. Oh my god, I just got that out. And they'd go around talking behind each other's backs and arguing constantly. And I mean full-on screaming, yelling, in front of everyone arguing. Sometimes they'd bother to go in the office, and other times they would just shout at each other. Luckily, you didn't really see the two of them together all too often, so it wasn't that bad. Now, I happened to have a friend who was a manager, so I got to know a little more of the ins and outs of their relationship and the nonsense that went on behind the scenes. Now, obviously, I had to keep this to myself, but I heard so much I could say about each other. Now, that in and of itself wasn't too big a deal. Sure, irritating to see grown adults going around gossiping at each other and fighting like freaking preschoolers, but fine, whatever. Now, where it got really wild is when Jay started talking to the employees like very openly about wanting to find another job, how much this job was ruining his life and his health and he had no time for himself and blah, 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 blah. He really ran his mouth. Now, I might add he could be really charismatic and friendly, or he could be a total jerk or just completely ice you out. It really depended on the day with him. He was also, and I hate to say it because he was really kind to me sometimes, he was completely incompetent. He tried to put out a grease fire by dumping water on it. 
he, at another location, he tried to stop a pot of boiling butter from burning by pouring water in it. He got very badly burned. <laughs> Fun story. He has cut himself on a million things at other employment that I'm aware of. When I asked a coworker to tell me anything she remembered of him doing in this vein of factions, she responded with, I could write a book on it. And frankly, I believe her. No, he did manage to keep this out of the eyesight of most employees. Now, I made the absolutely massive, life-changing mistake of trying to be helpful and friendly to Jay when my mom had had her workplace come up with an opening in the kitchen for, I believe, assistant, uh, assistant manager as well, which was kind of his role at the chain. So, she asked me to suggest it to him because she, he was someone that she vaguely knew and that I had touted as a good manager. So... It took me a while, but I did ask him about it, and sure enough, he was interested. This led to him talking to my mom about it, and this was meant to be a secret. I was told to keep my mouth shut, he was told to keep his mouth shut, he did not keep his mouth shut, full disclaimer. So it got around, and sure enough, T found out. Thus began the pandemonium in my life. T took that very, very personally, in my opinion, because she got extremely weird to me. She would be extremely hot and cold with me. Sometimes she would be just absolutely icy for no real reason. And sometimes she would be sweeter than ever before, including sending me home with free things like avocado spread or in-date chicken patties for discontinued sandwiches. At one point, my mom dropped me off for a shift and she ran out of the building to talk to my mom and tell her every negative thing about Jay, including accusing him of misogyny, poor treatment of women and everything. He would, oh, she said a lot. It, some of it was completely and utterly insane, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, she also later accused him of stealing the store keys. When he did drop them off, though incorrectly, he dropped them in her mailbox instead of actually giving them to her like he was supposed to. I can kind of see both sides there. From this point on, she got absolutely vicious with scheduling, and her daughter also became cold. Her daughter also worked there. I think all three of her kids. Three? Two? She had daughters and they worked there. That's all I know. But the main one was really, really cold to me. She started scheduling me and my friend Mira pretty much alone, sometimes with a third person in the store around the dinner rushes. And she would do this over and over and over. And it started really messing with me. I have some, like, my health is weird, all right? I deal with aches and pains all the time. We started looking into it, we haven't finished, so don't know what's wrong with me. That's that. <laughs> but this scheduling started really affecting me. And, like, some of it was definitely stress, and some of it was, like, physical issues. But, so I started feeling really terrible. I was constantly exhausted and hurting and cranky and it eventually came to a boiling point and what was eventually the cause of me quitting because I couldn't keep sacrificing my health for a job that was paying me like 12 bucks an hour, okay? I couldn't. And obviously I stayed in touch with my best friend Mira who kept me extremely updated as bit by bit, chunk by chunk, a wave of staff began to quit including some staff that had been there a while that were really, really good staff, and it started kind of all burning to the ground. Now, I can't remember if she quit or if she stayed there till the very end, but at some point after I quit, the store was shut down. Now, I was told this was because of a certain like lack of profit issues. However, it did not take me too long to hear through the grapevine that our district manager, P, the one who had hired me, I didn't say this earlier, just in case, but he was fired for embezzlement because at this place, yeah, that's normal enough. It's not all that out of the ordinary, really. Well, I hear that, and then not too long later, I get a letter in the mail. Uh, it's from the franchise, and it's about bankruptcy and whether I'm owed anything or not, and obviously I wasn't. I had quit. I was fine. So... That's the ending to that crazy tale, well, aside from the fact that Jay remained a nuisance and a hazard in the kitchen to my mother's poor, poor workplace until the day she stopped working there. Well, that's really about all the story. I still spend time with Mira. 
we still see the empty store sometimes and it makes me sad because I have good memories there with her. But, well, I've moved on to another job where I'm happy and I'm getting more comfortable and I have some reasonable expectations of safety and sanity with my workplaces now. Well, thank you for tuning into my first proper video. I hope you stick around for the next. In case you're wondering about the art in this video, it's of my character Pygmalion during part of a story I wrote with some friends and my partner, and it is about their struggles with trauma and paranoia relating to my villain. If you would like to see more of my art and maybe hear more about my characters, follow me at Jelly Rainbows on Twitter. And if you'd like to support me, I'm Jelly Rainbows on Ko-fi. There should be some links in the description. Bye bye